dealing with solids and I guess underground stopes. So I've got two solids on the screen. The red one is our design stope and then the grey one is our sort of as surveyed stope. Just like to highlight I guess two options that we can use. So under our model triangle solid option we've got an option called differential volumes. So essentially as a first pass if you're just after some numbers, overbreak and underbreak volumes to get out into a report, we can run this, we can select our two surfaces, we can put it in and save it out to a report file and essentially even in our Envisage console it's going to report out which two triangulations we're using, the volumes of the two, the common volume and then you've got a cut and a fill and it'll give you a description at the bottom where one's overbreak and one's underbreak essentially. So that's a nice easy quick way just to get the actual numbers but if you're actually after the individual solids themselves, so an overbreak solid and an underbreak solid, under our triangle utility menu we have merge and inside the merge option we have about six different submenus and the one of interest for this exercise would be the solid difference. So with the solid difference turned on, I hit OK. If I select my actual scan first and then the design scan second, the difference that it's going to actually calculate for me is our overbreak. And I'll just hide these or remove these original scans, triangulations. So now what we're left with is a solid that represents the overbreak or the areas that are outside. Might look a bit holy and not that pretty, but we can check it by running a volume, leaving our tests on, and we get our volume come through. And so that's for our overbreak. So essentially, it's the same process for our underbreak, except this time we select our design surface first and then our actual surface. This should give us a underbreak solid. So again, just remove those original two. Now we're left with all the bits and pieces that were outside and they are all basically appended together as one solid and we can check that by running a volume, leaving the tests on and we get our underbreak volume. And so we can see the Envisage console, we've got the 604 and the 2413 from our differential volume option and we've basically got the same numbers from our actual solids. So we can be pretty happy that a quick way to create our individual solids for underbreak and overbreak is just using that model triangle utility merge option.